in today's video let's have a quick look uh, whether dent could do what xrp did in 2017 so i'm going to share some um, highlights on what happened uh, with xrp in 2017 so if i go to coin market cap and then do a bigger scale of this chart so you can see that it was around 0 0.006 around um, till probably till uh, March of 2017. And then from March 2017, it suddenly started going up very steep and it touched a peak of around 42 pence, if I'm not right. Yeah, I think it touched uh, 37 pence at the max. So, th so it this all happened in just a span of two months time. So let's have a look what happened actually with XRP and which triggered this huge run. So why I am comparing Dent with XRP? Uh, many might have this question in your mind because it's like comparing orange and apples. Um, yeah, I'm going to address that uh, right now. So basically XRP is, is, is a protocol for faster settlement based on blockchain so you know all the banks they use a, a ledger but the ledger is not openly available but it's transferred between the banks for the settlements so blockchain is something which allows you to make this ledger publicly available so so basically xrp has a protocol which is called xrapid so their stick tech allows you to do a faster settlements so basically it's a private blockchain owned for which the banks can own themselves so in march 2017 uh, they managed to sell their protocol for one of the biggest banks in america so which just pushed the price all the way up but we got to remember here the banks never agreed to use their tokens for the settlement. So what are the reasons that triggered XRP for a free run? So banks are interested only in the XRapid protocol and they are buying their faster settlement protocol. And banks have outright refused to use their tokens for settlement. Their technology and their token doesn't have any utility. So the token as such has no utility because the banks are not have outright rejected to use their tokens for their settlement. So what, what, how I compare Dent here is Dent is a bit different. So it has a perfect utility. So if X, if you can call XRP as a utility token for banks, then then Dent is for telcos. That's what I, I want to highlight here. So if XRP you equate to banks, then Dent you can equate to telcos. So even the top 10 telco companies in the world, they account for a net worth of $1 trillion in value. So that's how big is um, a telecom company is. So Dent getting uh, to become a MENO through their eSIM offering is actually getting into the bigger space. I know it's not going to happen in one day uh, that Dent is going to acquire all the Vodafone users or uh, at and mobile users. That's not going to happen. Let's be realistic here. But all I'm saying is it's, it's heading towards to become a telecom company now. full watched telecom company. They have started that journey there. So in probably three to five years time, this, this could be huge. The reason I'm saying it has a huge potential is because all telecom companies, if you look at their history, it has taken roughly 10 to 15 years to have a mass user acquisition and start seeing profits on their uh, on their uh, financial statements. So, so from my point of view, Dent is much better than the XRP even. The reasons that could trigger Dent for a free run is Dent is the token that is being used for every data top-up, voice plan purchase and EC purchase in fiat usd so any purchase that happens on their platform behind the scene a buyer buyer order or a sell order execution is executed against their token actually even though the end user might not 
uh, be able to actually perceive that they are actually using a cryptocurrency under the hood to buy their mobile data. So Dent is being used as the intermediary token for all purchases on the Dent mobile app, which has around 25 million registered users. I know quite a lot of people have been asking um, this particular solution that Dent is doing doesn't need a need for a token, right? You can do a buy a data purchase or eSIM like conventional method and there's no need for a blockchain here. Yep, but the thing is how do you, how do I exchange value between a user? So like say I have excess mobile data, how do I, and I am with AT&T mobile network. So if I want to sell my excess mobile data or even uh, bother uh, buying some mobile data and try it from another vendor. So it, those cannot happen if you don't have an intermediary settlement layer which is independent of the fiat currencies because the mobile users are around the world distributed in 190 countries and there are 8 billion smartphone users. Imagine if everyone comes and buys only using the fiat, the commission that you have to pay for the fiat purchase is going to be huge. And that free mobility of your mobile assets is literally impossible uh, on cross-border, cross-territory, cross-geographical, right? So this having an intermediary uh, asset which allows settlement of your mobile assets is phenomenal, actually. The reason I'm saying is, even though people don't uh, know the value of the token that is being used, but the technology, a lot of people have sh are, are very much impressed by what Dent is trying to do. And their product is pretty much in increasing, product suite is increasing, and they are trying to become more innovative in the next few coming years. So if XRP could do such a feel free run, and you can see it ran all the way from 0.006 uh, to 37 cents. And if you look at their lowest value, it was is their lowest it touched was 0 0.002. So it's pretty much, um, and it has 100 billion supplies, pretty much same like um, Dent. You might, even though XRP doesn't have any utility, with four, 44 billion supply, they are doing far very high. It's priced right now at 18 cents. So imagine, the, the story with Dent is pretty different because Dent is as a utility. So if I hold my Dent uh, token um, in the app for a few weeks, I get free voice minutes. So can, can someone tell me, is there any telecom company in the entire world who could provide me free voice minutes? I don't think so. Free voice minutes and international calling for 120 countries. I, I, I can't find anyone who could provide free calling uh, to landlines and mobile. And the tokens that you buy and lock it up in their loyalty program called Afterburner. So their loyalty program is called Afterburner. So basically it has lots of exclusive benefits. So if you hold up 30,000, 190,000 dent, which is right now around $4 worth, so if you lock up $4 worth of your dent, you get 80 minutes of free international calling to 120 countries. I haven't seen any telecom company that provides free voice calling. You might ask me, okay, I have to put upfront $4 to get this 190,000 tokens in order to get the free minutes. Yeah, you're right. You have, uh, you're putting your uh, $5 worth of money upfront in order to participate in their loyalty program. But remember, this $5, you can get it back whenever you want after the one month lock-in period. So your money is literally a, is coming back to your hands. You're not um, spending to get that international free calling. And already a lot of people are using the voice minutes uh, and it's available to be able to talk to 120 countries. So from my point of view, I think Dent is positioned far higher and Dent token has a better utility than XRP. So Dent seems to have a higher advantage than XRP. But with no utility, if XRP could do that much bull run, I see Dent is far positioned better than XRP. So that's what I want to highlight uh, in today's video. And if you look at the previous bull run of what 
dented in 2017. So in November of 2017, in November of 2017, you can see it was around 0 0.0003, so which is like um, zero triple zero three, not double zero three, and it it was around that at uh, 10th of November, even uh, till then it started doing a bull run and and it touched one cent in probably 20 days actually so that's a, that's that's how quick it could rain and touched a market cap of 177 million and then it went all the way at a free run and went up to 3 cents in december 2017 i know a lot of people are going to question me now by saying okay that supply at that time was only 10 billion and right now the supply we have is is a bit different because right now the supply is roughly around 80 billion, 81, 82 billion as we speak now. But if you look at the, um, if you look at the um, previous number of supply uh, in different exchanges, I want to show you this chart today. So basically, if you look at the balance in different exchanges right now the the actual balance in different exchanges is roughly around 30 billion so we are not actually that far so even though there are 82 billion circulating supply of 10 actually only close to 30 billion is actually circulating in the different crypto exchanges so what we are seeing is probably uh, three times more is what actually revolving around the exchanges so the ex the tokens on the exchanges are the uh, are are available for liquidity instantly than the ones sitting in the cold wallets. You know what I mean. So there are tokens, even though there are eighty two billion supply, there are lots of big wallets. Um, they all are the, those tokens are sitting in the cold wallets and not instantly available for liquidation. So I guess Dent has a better far position to do a. Um, then XRP so and hope uh, we could see a uh, in probably two to three years period time if Tent emerges as a big telecom company by more uh, acquiring more users and releasing more product suites I think we have we could see higher returns in the long run this is not a financial advice uh, let me make it very clear uh, this is just an uh, my own opinion personal opinion based on what Dent has been doing in the recent years Thanks, thanks for watching and have a good day.